And here we are at the login page of our content management system. We're going to log in as an editor. And we need to put our password in that would have been provided to you. And click on login. And the first page we do see is, we can see kind of a demonstration page here. It just welcomes us to our content management system. And if you have any problems with the management system or need any support help, you can contact Internet Bar using the contact details at the bottom of the page. And during working hours, uh, there'll be a live support chat option here. Uh, you could click on this to contact us directly via online chat or when we're offline then you can click here to leave us a message. The content management system is fairly straightforward. It's broken into a number of sections. You can see on the side here we're currently looking at the dashboard and there's the media library, media library, the web pages and the sidebars. And we'll see later that any of the web pages is usually broken down into a main page content and a sidebar. Usually the sidebar will be positioned on the right so that on mobile devices the sidebar content will come after the main content of the page. And the final option here is to set up the navigation menus on the page. So if you add a new page of content you can add that page to the menus. We're going to quickly look at the media library. The media library, as you can see, has already had a number of Internet Buff logos and a couple of images uploaded to it. And so if we wanted to look at this particular image, we could just click on the name of it. We can see the dimensions. It's 300 pixels wide by 200 pixels tall. And uh, you know we can we could edit those images within the content management system, and that's the content of another video that we have for you later. So again, we could look at the media library, and we can see all of the images that have been added and are available to put into your web pages. If we want to add some new media, we click on Add New. And we get a dashed box. And we can drag and drop files into that box. Any images, for example, that we wish to use, they'll be uploaded and then they'll be available for use in your pages or in your sidebars. Alternatively, you could click on select files and then you could specifically select files off of your hard drive on your desktop or laptop machine. So now we'll look at pages. We're going to add a new page. So we can either click on the pages link here or we can go straight into add new. I'm going to click on the pages here just so you can see this page. It describes all the pages on your website. At the moment we just have two pages, one called home page and one called short codes. They're just pages that we set up previously and they're in the menu system and they're live on the site. As you can see they've both been published and you can see the published dates. But we want to add our first demonstration page so we're going to add a new page. And the first thing we probably want to do is get the page a title. So we're going to call it our first test page. And that's the title of the page. We probably want to tell the content management system that this page has a sidebar. So we need to just look for the template to use for the page. We need the sidebar template. Now this main area here, this is where we add any text or images that we wish on the content area of the page. So if we click in this box, we would be able to type some text in this area. Uh, you can see there's two rows of icons, pretty much like a Word document would have icons. 
and we'll run through the exact use of all of these in another video. You can see there's the kind of traditional bold and italic options and a variety of other buttons. If you can't see both these rows, this button here, show hide the kitchen sink, basically says show me or hide hide the second row. Show all the second row or hide the second row. I'm going to leave it visible so you can see both the rows. Now we just want to quickly paste some text or we can type some text into this box. I'm going to take some text prepared earlier and I'm just going to copy it in and I position the cursor where I want the text and I right click paste and let's just say we want another paragraph so with the cursor position not, not in the middle but at the end of the paragraph you just hit enter and we can paste or type in some more text so at the moment we've just got two paragraphs of text in the content area of the page so we'll see what that looks like so over on the right we have a publish button which we'll use later and a preview button will allow us to look at the page before we publish it. So we're going to click on preview and you can see we've set up a very simple template with a menu system and a sidebar just so that you can appreciate the layout and here's the main content area. We've added the two paragraphs of text and there they are. That's how they would look. So we're going to close that tab. We can see what that looks like. And we've decided that maybe we need a heading for this page. So we'll position the cursor at the beginning of the text where we want the heading. And we'll call it our first test page. And we'll press enter. And we just need to tell the content manager system that this is a heading. So we're going to highlight that text just by direct clicking and dragging across the heading and we're going to tell it it's a heading because it's the first heading on the page we'll say it's a heading 1 so we now preview that again the content management system knows it has a heading it's the first heading, heading 1 you've got your two paragraphs and you've still got your sidebar so we'll close, close that page now we may want an image on this page and we're going to look at adding one of those images that we saw in the media library earlier. There was the 300 by 200 pixel image of a skyscraper. We want that linked to this first paragraph. So we're going to position where we want the image at the beginning of the paragraph. And we're going to look for this little camera audio icon called Add Media. And when we click on that, Again, we could select files from our hard drive, or we can drag and drop files into this dashed box. Or alternatively, we know that we've already uploaded the image, so we can go straight to the media library, and we can see that image, the skyscraper's image. We're going to show that image. We can check that it's the right size. Yes, that's a 300 by 200 image. And we can see that it's got a title and it's got an alternate text. The title and the alternate text are important to tell your visitors uh, what the image is about. It also tells search engines what the image is about and it will also tell screen readers what the image content relates to. So whether your visitors can view the page or not, they would have an understanding that that image is about skyscrapers. Typically, you wouldn't put the word image in, you would just describe the image. The screen reader would know that it's an image and we know that it's about skyscrapers. In this case, we don't want the clicking anyone clicking on the image to go to another web page or to view a larger version of the image, so the link URL is none. And now we have to decide where we want the image. Do we want the image on the left of the text or the right of the text? Uh, usually it would be left justified to the text or right justified to the text. Let's select left. Now we have to check which size of image we're going to use. 
Uh, often there's like a default thumbnail size which we could select, but you know that's not so good because that's a square image. We want to insert the full image, 300 by 200 pixel image, full size image, insert into post. Okay, so we can see the images in the in the page, and it's aligned on the left. Let's quickly preview that just to get a feeling for what that looks like. You see, it's pretty much the same as we saw in a content management system. Maybe the image is a little bit big. Maybe this text is a little bit bunched up. So maybe we'll make that image a little bit smaller. So we're going to close that tab. And we see if we click on the image, we could hit the delete image icon. Or we can edit the image. And we can see it's fairly easy to choose different sizes of the image. Let's just go for about 80%. And we're going to update the image, and you can see that the image has been shrunk down. And let's just preview our final page. Our first test page is the heading. We've got two paragraphs of text. We've got an image of skyscrapers which has been shrunk to 80%, and you can see that that fits fairly well. The demonstration sidebar. If we close that tab, we could go to sidebars. At the moment, we've got one sidebar in there, just called default sidebar, which is that demonstration sidebar that we showed you. And you can see that the way that you enter content for those sidebars is fairly similar to the content for the pages. Now if we go into menus, we can see that currently we have a couple of menu buttons in the menu bar and because we haven't published our page, we can't yet add a new page to the menu bar. So we'll go back on pages. You can see our first test page is just in draft. It hasn't been published yet, so we're going to go to the page. We're happy with the page content, so we're going to publish the page. And that page is now live on the site. So if we look at menus, we can see that because it's been published, we have a list of pages, and our new page is included in that list. We want to add that page to the menu system. Uh, we've got enough room in the menu to spread across the page, so we're going to add that link into our menu, add to menu. You can see it's appeared. Our first test page is now in the menu. There's three main buttons and these two, because they're indented, are part of this main menu. They're sub-menus of this menu item. So let's save that menu. And if we went back to the page that we've designed, our first test page. We want to view the page. We can now see on that page we have our first test page in the menu system. And we've got quite a lot of room for other pages to be shown in the menu system. And you can see we've got the two sub menus and our new page. So we'll close that tab and we'll go back to the dashboard and we can see that it's fairly straightforward to add media such as images or audio. It's straightforward to add new pages or to modify pages. It's quite quick and easy to add new sidebars and the appearance tab refers to the menus. It's fairly straightforward to reorganize your menu system or to add new pages to that menu system. 